This is supposed to have been the video where I'm sanding this and painting it and then maybe talking about this cheap inner cooler. But I got some problems. Let's talk about it. With this manifold, this manifold may or may not work with the treadstone downpipe. I don't have a way to make my own downpipe and if I gotta tow my car someplace I have one custom made that is gonna be a lot of money um, it's probably gonna cost more than just buying the correct downpipe worst case if it doesn't work I'll just buy a treadstone manifold and then I found out that none of the cheap Chinese turbos have a two and a half inch outlet I found that out through a YouTube channel, uh, Worldwide B15s. I will link it in the comments. So it looks like in order for me to get the downpipe to work, I need a T31 flange. The cheapest turbo I can find with that is gonna be a precision turbo, about $800. It's gonna be $800 turbo sitting on top of this cheap manifold that may or may not work. So if this manifold doesn't line up, and I have a hard time believing it will line up perfectly, is I'm gonna end up having to spend another $400 to get the correct manifold. So I'm at 1200 bucks just for a manifold and a turbo. I'm already out the cost of this. Okay, next thing, the intercooler. Let's see a closer look. It's a barn fin. It's cheap. But we're talking with another guy. Uh, I believe his name is Matt. He was getting really bad air temperatures using this intercooler. It wasn't very effective. Uh, he switched over to a Treadstone TR8 and then his, his air temps dropped like 40 degrees or something. So that's a huge amount. So that alone is, um, you know, kind of sold me on upgrading to the TR8. Now it comes to the piping. The way I'm going to route it, I can cut all this up. But, to be honest with you, the Treadstone pipe kits, get, buying all their piping, it's probably going to be just way easier, less hassle, and I don't have a way to put this bead roll on here. And I don't want to really do it cheaply either. If I'm going to do it, I kind of want to do it right. So I don't want to spend $400 for a machine to make this speed roll. And so now this turbo kit coming going for about $1,500 or two grand. Uh, it's now going to be costing about 3000 And when I started doing the math, the Treadstone Turbo Kit, buying it all together, without the AFC, you are looking at just under $3,000, not including shipping and tax and all that. Well, by me piecing it together, I'm not saving anything. And I'm getting parts like this, the clamps, that I believe these are steel where the treadstone is going to come to stainless steel. I think the treadstone pieces, couplings and stuff will be better. So now I'm at a point where I think I'm just going to pull the trigger this week and order the full treadstone kit. With that, I can actually do some side by side comparisons like this compared to the treadstone. Maybe the piping thickness compared to the treadstone, uh, intercooler compared to the treadstone. Yeah, that's basically the update for now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all this after I film some comparisons for you guys. The reason why I'm making these videos, I'm not trying to become a YouTuber or anything like that. Um, that's not my goal. I'm, my goal isn't to monetize these videos. Um, all of the opportunity comes, I might. But that, that isn't my primary goal. My primary goal is to be able to help someone that's trying to do the same thing. And letting you know what issues you're going to come across while you're doing it and how I've been able to resolve them. Yeah, that's all I got for today. 
Aloha. Peace out.